In this video, you're going to learn how to install WordPress on your own website hosting and domain so that you can start up your own website. The first thing that you're going to need is uh, your own website domain and hosting. And whichever host you go with, I would recommend that you definitely check that they have a one-click installer for WordPress and for other applications like that. It's just going to make your life a lot easier. So once you have a hosting account set up, you'll want to log in to your hosting management area and find the applications installer. In DreamHost, you would click on the one-click installs here on the left, and then you would go down to install new website software. You would want to go in the advanced mode so that you can have more uh, editing ability, and then just click on WordPress and then go through the steps there. I'm actually going to go through the steps in cPanel. cPanel is another common website hosting management system, and in that case, you can use uh, Fantastico or Installatron, and some other hosts have different ways to install WordPress, but it's usually pretty easy, and it's going to be very similar to what we're going through here today, so you shouldn't have much of a problem with it. If you do, you can just contact your host, or they'll have help, uh, help documents on it. The first thing that you're going to do is go through whatever kind of applications browser you have. You just want to go through it and find WordPress and then you want to install the application and it's going to ask you some questions as you go most important things it's going to ask you what path uh, or directory you want WordPress installed so for instance if we were to leave this path blank you would see down here that it's going to be installed in the root directory so that would be just the main site in most cases you're probably going to want to do that just install it in the home directory because you want the whole site to be WordPress. And uh, But if for some reason you want it in a subdomain, if you were going to make, say, a membership site with a members area, then you know you can put it in, For in my, in my case, it's launchbutton.net slash members. I'm just going to, for testing purposes, I'm just going to install this in uh, a test folder. We're going to click on the next. So you definitely want the latest version installed. Accept any license agreements or anything. Normally, you're going to probably want to uh, have them automatically manage the database settings for you. you do, that's not something you really need to worry about with these one-click installers. It usually handles everything for you. So we'll just go next. If it allows you to choose an administrator username, you want to make this something besides admin for security purposes. So whatever it is that you want it to be, just go ahead and make that. And then you want you want a good password and then you want to put the title of your website here which you can change later and then we'll just make sure your email is correct and then we'll click on next and submit it and it should install it pretty quick sometimes you're you have to wait it doesn't actually do it right in front of you but it will it, it will do it pretty quick so the next thing that you want to do is wherever you installed the WordPress um, as soon as it's actually installed, sometimes it'll take a few minutes, you can actually visit that location on the web, and then you'll see that your site is there. So just like that, you have a website up. Accessing the admin area of your site is easy. You can just go down to where it says Meta in the sidebar here and click on Site Admin. And then I'm already logged in, but uh, it'll actually show you this WordPress login screen and you just enter your username and password that you created when you set up WordPress and then you'll get into the admin area and the other way to do that is to actually go to the location of your WordPress install which in my case is launchbutton.net slash test and then you just type in wp-admin and that'll always just take you right to this login screen and then you just log in and um, go to your admin area